of things is about getting information collected and centralized. And of course, knowing about the problems, quantifying the problems is the first way, uh, first step to solve them. So that's why it can help in ecology, in uh, transportation, in energy. So this is a huge problem, and I do think that IoT is a good way to solve them. We have people who are physically handicapped, people who are old, who are alone. You know, these services can give them some of the benefits which they are never able to achieve. There are things you would like to know in advance. There may thing, be things that simplify and bring some level of convenience. Uh, the biggest benefit of IoT is cost savings for the people using the service. Uh, for example, to read power meters, uh, it's approximately 20 times cheaper to uh, use some of the technologies in the Internet of Things, for example, LoRa, uh, than it is the current technologies. It'll allow us just to, you know, work together more, share information quicker, um, and work globally. To develop products and solutions that benefit people in their day-to-day -day lives rather than just benefit bank accounts. It just makes access, which is one of the biggest things in healthcare, so much better, and also reduces cost. I guess it can give us a lot more knowledge about what's really going on in the world so that people supply the services we want, that people understand how we're using them, um, and that people come and fix things more often when they're broken rather than happening to see them once a week and find they're broken. We still don't know what people need, what people will use, but in a nutshell, it has to solve a real problem in order to be beneficial for people. The cost of supporting the devices that are on the Internet of Things is very high. Um, if I was to say to Philips that they will have to support a smart light bulb for the coming 20 years because that's how long they last um, and they're going to sell a light bulb for only 20 bucks doesn't make much financial sense and that's why we haven't seen I think the Internet of Things as people currently imagine it to be I think it's something that's still in the future we're not there yet